In this video, I'm going to show you why a flat iron is the best tool for both curling and straightening your hair. Hello there, I'm Fernanda, and recently I've gotten some questions about how I style my hair. And the truth is that no matter how I'm wearing it, whether it's curly, wavy, or straight, I always style my hair with a flat iron. In fact, other than a blow dryer, which I don't know how to use very well, a flat iron is the only hairstyling tool I own. So today I'm going to show you how you can get many different looks from the same hair tool and why if you're only going to get one hair tool, it should be this one. And if you're new to this channel and are interested in more content like this that helps you get the most out of your look without having to buy a million things to do so, then please subscribe. You can hit the diamond over here to do so and I'm here every week. Let's do this. I first want to show you how I curl my hair with a flat iron. My hair is naturally a little bit wavy, as is most people I find. So instead of flattening it when I'm actually doing it, I like to add a little bit more of a bounce and a curl to it so that it actually sets and then it holds for as long as I need to. So right now my hair is completely air dried and it actually dried straighter than it normally does. Normally it's a lot poofier and curlier. But what I like to do is basically just enhance the front pieces and the back pieces and give it a little bit of shape as opposed to doing my whole head. So let's get started with that. I'm going to start by setting my flat iron to 320. If you can see over here, there's a bunch of different heat settings. And I find that 320 is enough for my hair to actually curl and hold whatever style I'm putting into it without actually frying it, which I love. That is not normally the case with most hair straighteners. Usually I need it a little bit higher, but I like this one because it has like infrared technology and apparently that makes it so that you need less heat to do whatever style you need to do your hair so it doesn't fry it, which is something that I really like. So if you're getting used to a flat iron, what I recommend is to start setting the temperature from the lowest heat setting and work your way up, seeing what your hair actually needs. Different hair textures and thicknesses are gonna need different temperatures, but a lot of the times we just pick what we think is okay, and that tends to be a little bit higher than our, than our hair actually needs to be able to hold the style that we're putting into it. While the straightener heats up, I'm gonna section the bottom half of my hair, and then I'm just gonna grab a hairbrush and run my hairbrush through it to make sure that there's no knots because I don't want to fry my knots essentially. I don't want to like flat iron my knots so that it will be harder to untangle my hair later. So this is something that I personally have a lot of practice with because I've been curling my hair with a flat iron since I was like 15. But if you're new to this, I do recommend that you try this motion out for the first time while your hair straightener is cold so that you don't fry your hair unnecessarily, just trying to learn the motion. And then once you have the muscle memory down, then you can turn on your flat iron and give it a shot. So I'm gonna start by grabbing a small section of hair. This is about a one inch section. And I personally like to go down on the hair and then flipping. I do recommend that you flip away from your face because that's kind of a more modern look. If you curl towards your hair, you're gonna get a more Hollywood starlit 1940s look, which might be something that you want, but it's not a very modern look. So for the sections that are around your head, go away from your face. So in this case, the motion is clamping down, clipping your hair, and then turning outside. So let me show you. Like that, then I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna very lightly glide. And then as it's done, I'm just gonna give it another curl. And you see that? There's a curl. So I find that the slower you go, the more wrinkly it gets. I don't even know if wrinkly, wrinkly is a word. Is that a word? Probably not. The slower you go, the more of a ringlet you will get. If you want softer waves, then you wanna press just as hard, but go a little bit faster so that you actually put a curl in the hair, but that you're not curling it so much that you end up with like bouncy curls like this, which you can always loosen later, but I'll show you that in a minute. And I do like holding the hair on the other end so that I kinda know where it's going and it, I can kind of direct what it's doing. And something I do want to say is it's important to practice the motion going both away from your face and towards your face because if you do everything towards the same side, they will clump together and then you will end up with like one 
fell swoop of a curl, which could look nice if that's what you're going for. But if you want a more like tousled look, then alternating the curls will help with that so they don't all clump together. So for this particular motion, something that has a swivel cord is great because it prevents the cord from getting tangled on you or from you tangling it as you're curling your hair. And instead it just moves with you. So that is a great little feature. This particular flat iron is new for me. It was a gift from the brand. It's called the Duval Impulse Far Infrared Styling Iron. And it's a very fancy flat iron. It's actually more money than I have ever spent on a flat iron before. But I have discovered how much of a difference it makes to buy something of this high quality because I've noticed my hair falling out significantly less than it used to before. And also with my last flat iron, my hair used to break. So I had these tiny little stubs of hair everywhere that looked like frizz. And now it's not breaking that often. So my hair just looks overall better. So I am starting to see that it really does make a difference to buy something that is like nicer. And if you are interested in getting something like this, they are giving you and the subscribers on my channel a crazy 70% of discount. So you Use the code Fernanda for 70% off for anything on their website, including this flat iron, and I will leave you more details in the description box below. So now that the bottom of my head is curled, I'm just gonna let my hair down a little bit and try to curl some of the top portion. I'm not gonna go section by section because I feel like it's not really necessary. Instead, I'm mostly gonna curl these pieces, which are the ones that you're gonna see, and then we'll just do touch-ups at the end. So I have my halo of hair over here. So now that the front of my head and all of the back is curled, I'm gonna let the rest of my hair down and I'm just gonna shake the rest of my hair a little bit and see how we're looking. That's not too bad. See these curls right here, see how they're like super processed? I don't love that. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through them to loosen them up a little bit and get rid of that like wrinkly curl that I don't like. All right, so this is what it's looking like right now, which is more like the way I usually wear it. I feel like it still needs a little more, especially right here where there's a lot of hair. So I'm just gonna go around and grab a few sections that I feel need a little more curling to give it a little more shape, and then we'll call it a day. I was saying that I like to grab sections of hair that are of different sizes. That way when I run the flat iron through it, the curls will be of different sizes and different tightness and it will make it look a lot more natural. If all of your curls are the exact same size, normally it looks a little bit like overdone, which is not my personal preference. So I just go around my head and like grab little bits of sections that I feel could use a little bit of a curl even if they're smaller or not, and then just kind of like let it do its thing. So once I kind of have the shape that I want, I feel like I still look like a lion. So what I'm gonna do next is just kind of run my fingers through it and try to just hand comb it a little bit so that it gets the shape that I want and see if there's anything sticking out like crazy. So I'm just gonna shake it. A lot of the times you can also do this with a hairbrush. I find that when I run my hairbrush through my hair, it, um, it flattens it more than I want to. So I like to do this with my fingers instead. And I'm doing this so that I break up the curls and it looks a lot more natural and not so, I feel like this is already looking pretty nice. And this is where I would stop doing my hair if I were shooting or going to work or anything like that. Like that's as much as I would do. But I do wanna show you that the great thing about a flat iron is that you can do multiple styles. And obviously when you think about a flat iron, you think about wearing your hair flat. So I wanna show you two more things. Another thing that you can do is do your hair in like more beachy waves, like that salty look that you get when you've come out of the ocean. So I wanna show you how to do that. So you wanna grab your straightener like that. And as you pull down, you wanna press and then slowly seesaw as you pull down. So 
see how you can get just like a little wave just a little bit of texture which actually looks really nice on short hair i've had really short hair for the last five years and then just this pandemic kind of made my hair grow like crazy but i've curled my hair and straightened it and waved it and whatever with a flat iron no matter the length of my hair and it used to go like down to here so great to wear. if you had that all over your head it would look like a really cute beach wave just a little bit of texture just something that doesn't look as processed as a curl. And for the most part, when we think of flat irons, we think of flat hair or straight hair. I personally don't love that. So what I like to do is just give it a little bit of an effect of a blow dry as I'm straightening my hair. So I have my hair right there, which I'm gonna brush. You can go straight and just give it no curl at the bottom and then just go pin straight if you want and that's what you like, just like that. I personally like to do this. So I grab my brush, run it through and then crimp the flat iron above it and then run my brush with the iron. And then when I get to the end, I just flip my wrist a little bit, ever so slightly so that I get that curve that you would normally get with a round brush. So I have to say, I grossly underestimated how much work it is to do a tutorial on hair. So like my respect to all the hair gurus on YouTube because this is really hard. Brush, 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 brush. Lamp. Down and inward. Boom. Ta da. Doing this for the camera, very hard. shake it there we go I feel like that looks more like a blowout you know like it has some shape to it it's not like stick straight and it looks really nice usually after I'm done doing my hair I do like to seal it with a couple of drops of an oil just to rehydrate it because of all the heat and to just make it look a little bit nicer and shinier. Right now I'm using this one by Brio Gio. It's called Don't Despair Rip Hair. And it is a little bit expensive. I think it's like 20 something dollars for the bottle, which is a lot for one ounce, but a little goes a long way. And usually you only need like two drops of it because if you use anything more, then it gets very oily and I don't like that. So I start by running it through the ends. Oh, and it smells so good. And if you are in the market for a new flat iron, I highly recommend you check Duval's site out. I will leave you a link in the description box below and they were being very generous with the subscribers of my channel and they are offering you a 70% off discount with the code Fernanda off of their entire website, not just the flat iron and the hair tools, anything on their website. So I will leave that linked in the description box below for you to check it out, as well as the hair oil I just used in case you wanted to give it a go. If you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend who might wanna learn to curl her hair with a flat iron. And if you're looking for more hair care tips, I will leave you a video over here about how to prevent and care for split ends. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you're new, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.